Uh, thankful to be here tonight. We're thankful for each one to come out. Uh, we're going to do our best to mind the Lord. Y'all pray for us. Uh, let's go ahead and tell you I'm a little tore up like can't crowd just a little bit. Hey, Amen. I love the Lord because he, he loves me. That's what the Bible says, is we love him because he first loved us. And I'm so thankful for that. Amen. Thankful for the love of God. Thankful for his sacrifice. Thankful for his amazing grace. Amen. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Amen. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Amen. Was blind, but now I see. Was grace that taught my heart to fear. That, that's the thing about this is it's a it's a learning way. It's a teaching way. Yeah. Amen. Praise be to God. Uh, uh, I thought about Paul there a time there when he told me he said uh, a man did not teach me this. I didn't learn this from man, but it come from God Almighty. I, I, we're taught by God. Yeah. Amen. We. we God brings us in. Jesus brings us into the sheepfold, so to speak. He, 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 he loves us, and he sent his only begotten son to die for us, but he, 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 never has he left us to ourselves. He has never left us uh, without hope. Amen. He has never left us without deliverance, without peace, without joy. Amen. He has never left us, praise be to God, even while we were yet sinners and we was going to get to it, but it'll be all right. Uh, uh, that but God, it said, but God commended his love toward us while we were yet sinners. God loved me while I was yet a sinner. God loved me, praise be to God, even before I was formed in my mother's womb. I, uh, praise be to God, just like uh, Jeremiah, praise God. He said, I ordained you, praise God. Uh, as the Bible said, it's not his will uh, uh, that any should perish, uh, uh, but praise God uh, uh, for all to come repentance. Uh, uh, glory to God, uh, uh, to understand understand. Uh, uh, you may feel down and out. Uh, uh, you may feel like you have no hope. Uh, uh, you may feel like you have no purpose. Uh, uh, you may feel like you have no drive. Uh, uh, but praise be to God. Uh, all I can tell you is baloney. Uh, uh, because he died for you. Uh, he gave his life. Uh, uh, praise be to God. Uh, uh, yeah, because uh, of one man's disobedience, uh, uh, sin entered into the world. Uh, uh, death by sin. Uh, uh, but praise be to God. Uh, uh, glory to God uh, because of one man's obedience uh, obedience of the cross uh, uh, praise be to God uh, that the perfect lamb of God uh, without spot or blemish uh, uh, would suffer the cross of Calvary uh, yeah he went up uh, uh, Calvary's mountain uh, uh, praise be to God uh, and they brought him down uh, placed him in a tomb uh, and sealed it with a rock uh, uh, but praise be to God uh, uh, three Three days later, uh, uh, glory to God, uh, he got up. As Jeremy says, that one dude said, didn't he? Huh? I was reading there where it was talking about, it said some uh, uh, didn't believe in the resurrection. I get tickled at the little joke. It said there's Pharisees and Sadducees. Uh, the Sadducees, uh, uh, they didn't believe in the resurrection, Ruby. That's why they was sad, you see? Amen. Amen. They were sad, but they, that was one of the big uh, divisions between the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Was it the Pharisees that, yeah, they believed in the resurrection, but the Sadducees did not believe in the resurrection. I'm here to tell you today, if there is no resurrection, amen, then there is no hope. Amen, there, there, it, without the resurrection, praise be to God, then there's, there's nothing. Amen. Praise be to God. Just as uh, like he told him to go into all nations, teaching them to baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. And baptism is a representation of the burial and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Praise be to God. Uh, it's not a putting away of the filth of the flesh. Uh, as it says in Peter, um, uh, Cindy, I'll slow down. I'll quit moving. Amen. Praise God. But is an answer of a good conscience. Praise be to God. So when I got saved, uh, uh, praise be to God, when the Holy 
Spirit took up a bold with me, uh, uh, that amazing grace that saved a wretch like me. Uh, uh, praise be to God. God's unmerited favor. Uh, uh, praise be to God. Unmerited means there's nothing that I could ever do. There's nothing I could ever say. There's no amount of money I could ever pay uh, to be able to warrant uh, or be able to deserve what God has given me. Uh, uh, praise be to God. Uh, God has given you and me a life of peace, a life of joy. Uh, uh, praise be to God. Uh, he has given us a life. Because before Christ, I had no life. Uh, uh, glory to God, because the Bible tells us uh, the wages of sin is death. Uh, uh, praise be to God. So many people uh, in this world today, uh, uh, they think they're living it up, uh, uh, living the dream, uh, uh, chasing this uh, and chasing that. Uh, uh, but praise be to God, uh, when it's all said and done, uh, uh, when my life song sings, uh, uh, praise be to God. God. Uh, see, it just ain't over uh, here, praise be to God. Uh, uh, when we leave out of here, uh, take our last breath, uh, uh, praise God. Uh, it's just beginning. Uh, uh, praise God. Uh, uh, when a person uh, uh, steps into eternity, uh, uh, you either lift your eyes in hell or you walk the streets of gold. Uh, uh, praise be to God. Uh, uh, we're going to start out uh, in 1 Corinthians, uh, uh, praise be to God, chapter 15. Uh, uh, we'll do a little reading if that's okay. Uh, uh, that looks like it's used. Uh, uh, this don't. Amen. Chapter 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. I'm going to start about verse 9. Uh, uh, we may hit some stuff that we've already talked about, but that's all right. Uh, uh, praise be to God. Uh, I thought about the grace of God, uh, uh, but praise God. Uh, uh, for I am the least of apostles. This is Paul. Uh, uh, that I'm not meet to be called an apostle. Praise. It's basically he's saying, uh, he's not a high-minded guy. Amen. And praise be to God. So many people think more of themselves than anybody else thinks about them. Uh, uh, praise be to God. Uh, uh, but glory to God to know uh, that there is no good thing uh, that dwelleth in me. That's in this flesh. Uh, uh, praise be to God. I'm talking about me. Uh, uh, there's no good thing about me. Uh, I can't talk. I can't walk. Uh, I can't do a thing. Uh, uh, praise be to God. But a lot of people, uh, uh, they want to brag on me. Uh, uh, praise be to God. And sometimes it's hard for them to understand uh, uh, when you tell them it's not me, uh, that it's the Lord. Uh, uh, praise be to God. And they say, well, you really done a No, you need to understand it's God Almighty. Uh, it's God that worketh in me. Uh, uh, praise be to God. Uh, uh, being a willing vessel unto honor uh, and not dishonor. I'm trying my best to stay still, Cindy. Uh, uh, praise be to God. Uh, uh, but they want to they wanna brag on me. Uh, uh, don't brag on me. I want to brag on the Lord. He said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. See, you lift me up all day long, and you may run some off, but praise be to God. You lift up the name of Jesus. Praise be to God. You talk about the goodness of God Almighty and His Son, and He will draw, He will invite, He will encourage, He he will heal. He'll put back together uh, and he'll set a uh, uh, glory to God uh, the captive free. Uh, uh, praise God uh, uh, for I am the least uh, of apostles uh, uh, that I am not meet uh, uh, to be called an apostle. Uh, uh, praise God because uh, I persecuted the church of God. Uh, uh, praise God the thing about Paul uh, uh, before he was Paul he was Saul uh, and he went out uh, uh, breathing threatening and all this, uh, uh, putting them in jail, uh, having them killed. Uh, uh, you know the story of Stephen, right? Uh, uh, they laid the coats uh, at the feet of Saul, uh, and they went on him and gnashed on him with their teeth. Uh, uh, praise be to God. And, and oh, Stephen, uh, hey, glory. Uh, woo! Uh, said he seen uh, uh, Jesus uh, uh, standing at the right hand of the Father. Uh, uh, praise be to God. 
but by, we're in verse 10, uh, but by grace of God, but by the grace of God, I am what I am. Uh, glory to God and his grace, uh, which was bestowed upon me was not in vain, uh, but I labor the more abundantly than they all, yet not I. Uh, glory to God, but the grace of God, which was in me, uh, uh, praise be to God, it's not within myself, uh, it's not within my strength, uh, it's not within my wisdom because I have none but it's in God Almighty it's in His grace that I have my very being praise be to God the very breath that I breathe glory to God and praise be to God He's good Amen hey, that's where we at 11 Therefore, whether it were I or they, so we preach and so ye believe. Now, if Christ be preached, here I'm getting to the part about the resurrection and the not resurrection. He rose from the dead. How say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? They saw, that say Jesus, he was a prophet. Jesus was a good man. Jesus was this, Jesus was that. Uh, no, Jesus is God in the flesh. Yeah. Amen, praise be to God. They don't want to say that. Amen, praise be to God, but Jesus, uh, a God in the flesh, but some among you say no resurrection of the dead. But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen. Amen, praise be to God. Hold me there. Where am I at? 13. That's the thing, there, there's so many religions, I don't know how many, praise be to God, probably too many to count, uh, uh, but praise God, all of them have their main guy, or however you want to say it. They have their prophet, they have their one that they look to, that uh, Muhammad, Buddha, uh, Confucius, I don't really think that's like a really a religion, but it's more of a belief, I don't really know, but it don't really matter, they look to a man. Amen. But praise be to God, the point that we're getting at is, is that all those, they may have been around. They may have been a little Buddha dude. I don't know. Amen. But there was a Gandhi guy, and they all liked Gandhi. Praise God. They thought a lot of him. But guess what? Gandhi dead. Bless his heart. Praise God. I hope he got saved. But, but Gandhi passed. He no longer lives. Amen. Praise be to God. Muhammad, praise be to God. They say he was around. I don't know. I wasn't there at the, the five and dime with him. I don't know, but I guess he was there. Amen. Praise be to God. But here's the thing. Muhammad, praise be to God, unless he changed his ways and changed his heart. Uh, Allah, that's who they said was their God. Muhammad was their prophet, but praise God, he dead. Amen, praise be to God. There's so many of them that have came and said we're this and we're that, but praise God, they're dead. Amen, praise be to God. See, the thing about Jesus, praise God, is that Jesus came, Jesus died on the cross, and yes, he died, uh, but praise be to God. As I said, he was placed in the tomb, and Christ is risen, praise be to God, and Christ is alive, uh, uh, praise be to God. You say, how do you know it? Uh, uh, praise be to God, because one thing uh, uh, right here is living proof, uh, uh, praise be to God, uh, that there is a God in heaven, uh, uh, praise be to God uh, uh, because everything that's been said and done, uh, if you uh, thought I could do it, you fell and bumped your head. He is alive. That's the difference. There is a resurrection. He is the resurrection as he told Martha. She said, I know in the last days. Amen. As I, last time I preached, I think when I was here, yeah, I said, it's right here. It's now. Amen. Some of us are living like there is no resurrection. Praise God. Amen. Lip dragging the ground, pruned up, soured up. Uh, uh, praise be to God, acting like we ain't got no hope. I'm, I'm telling you what, I, I've got a better place to go. Uh, uh, pray went away. Uh, uh, praise be to God. Uh, he said, there are many mansions there. If it were not so, I would have told you so. Uh, he said, I'm going away and I'm coming back and I'm going to receive you into myself. Uh, uh, Praise be to God. Uh, God has been true and faithful to me. Uh, praise be to God. He has proven it time and time and time and time again. 
So many said, heard Philip got religion. Heard Philip going to church. It won't last. Amen, pray. Yeah, if it was in Philip, it wouldn't last, but it ain't Philip. Huh? But I tell you what, it is so good. Saturday, 20, I'm 22 now, Phyllis. 22 years. 22 years, praise be to God. A young man who said he'd never make it to 30. Hey, Amen. A young man that run up and down the road and would drink the beer and smoke the dope and pop the pills, praise be to God, and that would run the car 100 miles an hour or however fast it'd go, praise be to God, that said he wouldn't make it. But God had a different avenue, a different path, a different destination. Praise be to God, that amazing grace that saved a wretch like me. Amen. Praise be to God. I'm looking forward. Praise be to God that day that he calls my name. I'm looking forward to that day when he says, well done, my good and faithful servant. Well, how do you know? How can a man know? I'm telling you what, if you don't know, you need to come get you some. Because I'm telling you what, what he's done in my life is evident. Praise be to God because the things that have took place that has happened is not by man. It cannot be accomplished by man. Uh, praise be to God. I don't care how many times uh, they want to stick the flag on the moon. Uh, praise be to God. When it's all said and done, it will perish. It will burn. It'll be all gone. Uh, but praise be to God. Uh, when that new Jerusalem, new heaven and a new earth, uh, uh, praise be to God. Hey Amen. I got a better place of coming. Amen. And if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching vain. And your faith is also vain. Amen. My faith is not in vain. Amen. My faith. I have faith. I had enough, a grain of a mustard seed to believe. And praise be to God. Guess what? Over the 22 years, my faith has increased. It has got a little bigger. It's got a little bigger. And it's still getting bigger. Praise be to God. Why? Because I have faith in a living God. I have faith in a risen Savior. Savior, uh, uh, praise be to God. Amen. Amen. Yay. And we are found. Well, yay, uh, we're done with that one. Let's go on to the next one. Hold on just a minute. Come on. Amen. Go to uh, yeah, Ephesians chapter 2. Connie, you're going to have to worship this thing. Ephesians chapter 2. Well, yeah, it needs it again. I'm going to stick this over. I'm going to end up drinking out of it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Ephesians chapter 2. Amen. I've already hit on this too. We'll touch on it just a little bit. For by grace are you saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is a gift of God. It's a gift, a, a free gift. And I know that's a lot of people, they'll say that's what so many people has a problem with is that they're so used to being able to have to do something for something. That I have to prove myself or there's nothing free. There's nothing in this world free. And you're exactly right. It's, it's not, it's free. Grace is free to us. Amen. But it costs something. Amen. Whatever the price, I don't know if you can even if you can even determine as a price, but praise be to God. What it costed was God having to send his own son, God in the flesh, having to come and had to die for sinful man. That's what it cost, if that's the way you want to say it or look at it. Praise be to God. So something had to take place, something had to happen, praise God. As I done said by one man's disobedience, death came, sin came into the world. Uh, praise be to God. Of God, but because of one man's obedience, obedience of the cross, praise God, we can be saved. Uh, and through our obedience of that drawing, when God draws you and he 
talks to you and invites you to come, come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, uh, uh, glory to God. Uh, he said, I will give you rest. Uh, I'm telling you what, there is rest in the Lord. Uh, uh, praise be to, he works six days, uh, but on the seventh, uh, uh, praise God, it said he rested. Uh, uh, praise be to God. Uh, I'm thankful I have found rest for my soul in God Almighty. Yeah, I've had troubles uh, and I've had trials. Uh, I've had ups and I've had downs. Uh, I've had highs and I've had lows. But God has been faithful through it all. He has never left me. He has never forsaken me. But praise be to God. Uh, uh, for the grace ye are saved through faith. Praise God. Not of yourselves. That's the problem. It's not of yourself. Oh, but I, I've, I've got to do something. There's something I got to be. Ain't nothing you got to be able to do except come with a broken heart and a contrite spirit. Amen. And when you get saved, there ain't nothing you got to do but to fear God and keep his commandments. Praise God. And there ain't nothing you got to do except when you sin, hit your knees and cry out for forgiveness and repent and get yourself back up and keep walking and keep trucking and keep going for the glory of God. There ain't nothing you can do without the grace of God. Praise be to God. So all you need to do uh, uh, praise be to God. Was it little Samuel? He mean the Lord kept. Hey Samuel, he get or no? Was was it Eli? There's Samuel going to Eli. Samuel get up. I seen that little cartoon. That little dude going like, and he said, "What do you want?" He said, "I ain't call you." He go back to bed. And happened so many times, but praise God. He said, "Next time, more or less." He said, "Tell him, say, here I am." Hey man, hey. His sheep, they hear his voice, and a stranger they will not hear. You can't tell me you don't know when the devil ain't a whispering. You can't tell me if you're a child of God. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. We started wrestling practice there Monday, and I was talking to the kids as they was running because they was trying to chatter a little bit and I said close your mouths don't be talking I said you need to listen and I said you need to learn what voice you need to listen to I said because you're going to hear and you're going to hear a lot of chatter you're going to hear a lot of things that want to pull you this way and that way and tell you to go this route or go that route but I said you got to know what voice to listen to praise be to God, I thought I'm about ready to preach right now here on the mat. Uh, praise be to God. I said, but you got to listen to coach. You've got to listen to coach. Amen. God Almighty, you've got to listen to the voice of God. Amen. You've got to li You've got to ask. Amen. Ask and you shall receive. Amen. Seek and you shall find. Amen. Knock. Hey, come on. Amen. He'll come in and sup with you. Praise be to God. I read there the other day where it said, seek the Lord while he, while he is near and seek the Lord while he may be found. I'm telling you, God is near. He is near and dear to us. Pray, if you're a child of God, he better be near. Amen. He better be so near that the Holy Ghost took up inside you. Praise God. Let me read on just a little bit more. Say, I wish you'd hurry up. I ain't got no hurry in me. Jeremy up here the other night said, said he'd get a little long. When, has he, when ain't he been long-winded? <laughs> said he know to get a little long. I said, when ain't you been long? I'll pick on him. Hey, man, let's go Romans 5. Romans chapter 5. I hope you're getting this. And I'm going to start out, but God, verse 8. We are so easy to moan and groan and complain and gripe and this and that. Bless their hearts, they, 
They want us to check this and check that and mark this and do this data analysis thing and do this in something other, whatever. And they said, what do you think about it, Philip? I said, I don't think. I said, all I know to tell you, if you want to find somebody else, start looking. I said, I know how to teach, and that's what I do. Amen. Praise God. You know how to serve God. So just do it. You know how to serve. You can't tell me you don't know how to serve God. Satan will, will dangle all these distractions about, you know, about serving God. Well, you ain't serving God the way you're supposed to be. I'm going to pick on you, Gail. You know, you didn't read enough last night. I don't know what you did last night. Don't matter. But that Satan will tell you that. You know, your prayer was awful short. You know, should have been a little longer. Or your prayer too long. You just talking because you think you're something, all that in a bag of chips. Satan tells you, you tell me Satan don't do you that way. Huh? Go flipping through the channels and you see something you ain't supposed to. Why don't you just go back there and watch that? You, you liked it. Why don't you just go back there and watch a little longer? He dangles that stuff. He tries you. Hey, man, but guess what? So WMC Hammer used to say, nah, 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 I can't touch this. <laughs> huh? No one can pluck me out of God's hand. Amen. Satan himself has no right to me. I'm talking about so. He can do what he wants to with this body. Bible says, fear him that can both destroy body and so. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. It'd be better for me to go through life lame than to lift my eyes in hell whole. Praise God. It would be better for me to serve God. Amen. And let, the, let it lay where it lays. Praise God. Amen. Chapter 5, Romans chapter 5. But God commanded his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. If that don't get you going, I don't know what will. To know that I could have died in my sins. I could have died lost. I could have died at a young age. Phil says, you're still young. I still could die at a young age. Amen, but guess what? It's okay now. Before 22 years ago and however many days, it wouldn't have been okay. I'd have lifted my eyes in hell. Amen, but now it's okay. Amen. Praise be to God. But God commended his love toward us. And while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us much more than being now justified, justified by his blood. We shall be saved from the wrath through him. Praise be to God. For if when we were enemy, I was once an enemy to God, but no longer. Praise be to God. I am a heir. I am adopted. I've been grafted in. I am on the battlefield for the Lord and right. Uh, praise be to God. I am a soldier uh, for Christ Jesus. Uh, uh, glory to God. For if when we were enemies we were reconciled to God by the death of his son much more being reconciled we shall be saved by his life. Uh, hey, glory to God and not only so but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ by whom we have now received the atonement. Amen. Praise be to God. We got something uh, that he gave us. Uh, uh, glory to God. Whatever date you got say glory, glory, glory. Uh, somebody touched me it was on a Monday go ahead and stand it was on a Tuesday go ahead and stand if that's when it was it was on a Wednesday it was on a Thursday it was on a Friday if you got saved on one of those days you all better stand uh, praise God Friday Saturday and here the big day uh, glory 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 somebody touched me it was on a Sunday uh, praise be to God but here's the thing about it uh, since that day, October 15th, I've been touched. I've been touched. Glory to God. I've been touched. Amen. Bow your heads. No one looking around. If you ain't got no joy, it's your own fault. It's your own fault. You want some? Come get you some. Come on. Ain't no singing. Pray. You need to come pray, come on. How's you walk? How's you talk? Huh? 
what you're watching, what you're listening to. Come on. Come on. Cast all your cares upon him because he careth. He careth for us. He cares for you, 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 and he cares for little old me. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen.